I want to welcome you to the Perry Stone YouTube channel. I happen to be in my home office right now for the very first time with my son taping this very special message. And you can tell by the thumbnail what the title is, Will Damascus Soon Be Destroyed? Now that's not something I'm just asking. It's something that's predicted in the book of Isaiah. And I'm going to go through this beginning right now. Let's just get started. Uh, the prophet Isaiah began to give a series of prophecies against the nations that starts from chapter 13 in the book of Isaiah and goes all the way through chapter 21. Now, I have my laptop in front of me, so I'm going to be looking down at my laptop while I'm sharing this with you. In Isaiah 13, it's a prophecy against Babylon. This would have been the Babylon back in his day, King Nebuchadnezzar. Isaiah 15 is a prophecy about against Moab, which today would be the country of Jordan. Isaiah 17 is a prophecy concerning Damascus, Syria. That's the one we're going to look at here in just a moment. Then in chapter 18, it's a prophecy for the land beyond Ethiopia, which was a, a, a land uh, somewhere in the northern Africa region. Isaiah 19 is a prophecy against Egypt and a judgment that would come upon Egypt. And in chapter 21, it's called the burden of the sea, and it mentions the area of Arabia, which today would be the area of Saudi Arabia. Here's the verse that I want to give you, and I'm sure they'll bring this up on the screen. Isaiah 17, 1 through 3. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. The cities of Aror are forsaken. They shall be for flocks and shall lie down, and none shall make them afraid. The fortress also shall cease from Ephraim, and the kingdom from Damascus, and the remnant of Syria. They shall be as the glory of the children of Israel, saith the Lord. Now, the one town that's mentioned here in this text, which is spelled A-R-O-E-R, -E was actually a town located in, on the east side of the Dead Sea in the country of Jordan. And so uh, there are towns, if you've ever driven across the Allenby Bridge to the city of Petra, which is a great tourist site, you will know you pass a number of cities along the way. However, let's talk about Damascus. Damascus is located in the country of Syria. It is the oldest city on earth. And I'm going to say it this way, the oldest continuing city on earth. Uh, it's mentioned in Genesis chapter 14, verse 15. It's about 4,000 years old. Uh, it, it originated because there was an oasis there in the desert. So they built the town and the community and later the city around that oasis because it was a trade route. And many nomadic tribes would always come through Damascus if they're traveling toward Arabia or toward the country today we know as Iraq, etc. Now, in history, Damascus was attacked uh, many times, but the vineyards and the orchards were destroyed. But the city itself was always spared because it paid tribute, which was taxes, to the kings who were ruling that region of the world. It has continued as a city to this day. Now, it's not the same buildings, but as far as people inhabiting this area and not totally forsaking it and a total destruction, it has never happened, although buildings have changed and been rebuilt over the years. So Damascus was involved in, a, in wars with Israel from 1948 and 49. Then in 1967, and their biggest war in which they were defeated was called the Yom Kippur War, and this was the war of which um, Israel got the Golan Heights back and uh, annexed what is called the Bashan area biblically or the Golan Heights to this day. Now, here's the Encyclopedia Britannica talking about Damascus. Among the ancient cities of the world, Damascus is perhaps the oldest continuously inhabited city. Its name, Damashk in Arabic, derives from Damashka, a word of pre-Semitic origin, suggesting that the beginning of Damascus goes back to the time before recorded history. Now, when you read Isaiah 17, uh, it says that there's coming a destruction to the city of Damascus, an entire destruction. And um, it does begin to tell you in chapter 17 the condition of the nations or what things will be like uh, um, at the time that this destruction takes place. And I'm going to read uh, to you Isaiah chapter 17 verses 12 through 14. Now, again, this is the same chapter that mentions the prediction of the destruction of Damascus. Woe to the multitude of many people which make a noise like the noise of the seas and to the rushing of nations that make a rushing like the rushing of mighty waters. The nations shall rush like the rushing of mighty waters, but God shall rebuke them. They shall flee far off and they shall be chased 
uh, as the chaff of the mountains before the wind and like a rolling thing before the whirlwind. And behold, at eventide trouble and before morning, he is not. Very important verse there. This is the portion of them that spoil us and a lot of them that rob us. So he's talking about Judea and Israel here. Uh, especially the area of Judea. This is where Bethlehem, Ju Judah is. Uh, I'm sorry, Bethlehem, Jerusalem, uh, Jericho. This is the ancient area of Judea. And he says that the nations are going to come against that area and they're going to rush in like a rushing waterfall, like a rushing of waters. But God is going to stop them. And if you go previously to the previous verses, he's going to stop them by destroying completely the city of Damascus. And he tells you when it's going to happen. It says it's going to happen. Uh, trouble will come at eventide, that's at sunset, but before morning, the city is not. So this will be a night attack with major weapons that will completely decimate the city of Damascus. So it says here the nations would be raging in anger against Israel especially. Does that sound familiar right now? And it will be destroyed, the city of Damascus will be destroyed at night. Now I'm gonna give you three ways that this can be fulfilled. And this is not a manifest program, this is a YouTube message. So we try to make these briefer within eight to nine minutes. If the Damascus government is overthrown by radicals, which would be in their area, Hamas, I'm sorry, not Hamas, Hezbollah, uh, then it could cause to, it could eventually bring to the down, complete downfall and destruction of Damascus. The radical um, uh, Hezbollah uh, military branch has 40,000 to 150,000 missiles, and possibly, they may have possible access to chemical weapons. So if any of those type of chemical weapons were used against Israel, then you can rest assured that it would be a massive retaliation with probably some bombs that Israel has that you don't even know that they have. And then it says that it, Damascus will cease from being a city. So what I see here is that uh, the, the war that's happening in the Gaza Strip with Hamas, once that is completed, that, that operation is completed, that war is completed, and Hamas, ha the military branch or terrorist branch of Hamas has been decimated, then Hezbollah will get the backing of Turkey and Russia uh, and Iran, and uh, this could cause what I think would be the, the destruction of Damascus. The point I make is that this prophecy has never been fulfilled. And we're now seeing, because of the radical elements that headquarter in Damascus, in Lebanon, and all through Syria, uh, that, that this could very possibly take place under certain circumstances. So the point is, the Word of God, the prophecies are going to be fulfilled, and you and I are living in the generation to see them. If you learn something from my teaching, please always give it a thumbs up. And also remember that we have a, a large resource of prophetic material and practical biblical teaching that you can go to perrystone.org and see. And uh, I, I'm going to also make mention to you that if you go to um, Isaiah 17, it makes no mention of the nations which are mentioned in the Gog and Magog war. So this war with Syria is a separate war from the Gog and Magog war. And when Gog and Magog come together, which is going to be Turkey and Northern Africa, uh, parts of uh, parts of Russia, uh, Libya, uh, you know, Ethiopia, etc., when those nations of the Gog and Magog war come together, Syria or Damascus is never mentioned in Ezekiel 38 and 39. So the destruction might happen before the big Gog of Magog War. Something to think about, something to keep in mind. Well, thank you for joining me. And please, uh, uh, again, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and God bless you. Experience a personal spiritual breakthrough, fresh knowledge, and a new understanding. Tap into God's wisdom while in your home, office, or driving by listening to the eight new messages from the 2023 International Main Event. Perry Stone's five new messages include three major prophetic updates that answer questions that many are asking. The titles are A Stern Warning to All Rapture Scoffers, Correcting Errors Being Taught Concerning the Great Tribulation, The Prophetic Missing Link of the Sign of Christ's Return. Included are two of Perry's most important warfare messages of 2023, Shutting the Door on Satan's Ability to Get into Your Life, The Mystery That Satan Tries to Keep You from Discovering, Along with Perry's five messages, when you order, you will hear Ron Carpenter unlock an amazing biblical mystery that will change your prayer life in his message. It's an inside job. Jensen Franklin shifted the atmosphere by exposing America's anemic Western Christianity in his message, I am not a professional Christian. 
John Kilpatrick received a visitation from the Lord, then presented an anointed spiritual manifesto entitled, First the Attack, Then the Blessing. These eight messages will help set an unshakable path for your spiritual walk and your expectations of a victorious outcome and prepare you prophetically for the future. You too can experience what thousands of others did when you order. The main event conference is available on audio CD, DVD, and audio USB drive. Also for your convenience, the conference is available as video on demand at perrystone.tv. The eight audio CDs are offer number 23ME-CD and are available for a donation of $55. The eight DVDs are offer number 23ME-DVD and are available for a donation of $95. The eight messages on a USB drive are available for a donation of only $55. Request offer number 23ME-USB. Order today by calling 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. Or order online at perrystone.org. You may also mail a check to Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320. Order these messages today and uplift your spiritual life and help manifest with Perry Stone continue to reach the world. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perrystone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.